Previously on the Kennedys. We're over there to beat the commies, pure and simple. Once again, your tremendous grasp of the obvious is contributing nothing. On the contrary, if you had a better grasp of the obvious, we'd get some work done, General. It hasn't always been easy. But it's never been boring. The president has been shot. When I get more details, I'll call you back. Does this mean that you're going to be president now? Presidents, kings, and ministers from nearly every country in the world have come to Arlington Cemetery to bury John Fitzgerald Kennedy. The details of these last three days of mourning, even to the bier upon which the president's casket was displayed in the Capitol, were modeled after the funeral of another fallen president, Abraham Lincoln. This at the instruction of the First Lady. Having lit the eternal flame at the head of her husband's grave, Mrs. Kennedy, still composed, still dignified, leaves the gravesite with the Attorney General. Hovering over this somber day, the question still lingers, why was President Kennedy killed? Did Lee Harvey Oswald act alone, or was he part of a larger conspiracy? A reasonable man cannot honestly believe you, Mr. Giancana, when you say that you, you can't recall that. Would you tell us about the murder of Leon Marcus? Uh, did, you, did you have any connection with that? I decline to answer because I honestly believe my answer might tend to incriminate. Well, would you tell us anything, anything at all about any of your operations? Or would you just uh, uh, giggle every time I ask you a question? I decline to answer because I honestly believe my answer might tend to incriminate. I thought only little girls giggled, Mr. Giancana. Others have speculated that foreign enemies of the United States could have been responsible for the assassination. Well, it's called Operation Mongoose. It won't be run out of the White House or CIA. The overthrow and elimination of Fidel Castro. Jack, CIA's got people and pipelines everywhere. They're gonna figure this out. Well, I don't care. I don't trust the bastards. Not after the Bay of Pigs. You're gonna run point on this, Bobby, through justice. Well, let's hope we get the bastard this time. Well, we may only get one shot. So if you get him in your sights, don't miss. Else we may end up in his sights. On Sunday, John F. Kennedy's fellow citizens paid their respects in the great rotunda of the Capitol, most of them unaware that another murder had taken place in Dallas as nightclub owner Jack Ruby shot and killed Lee Harvey Oswald, the president's assassin, in the basement of police. I was watching. It's enough. Come to bed. I'm not tired. Bye. 
Bobby, you're exhausted. Are you, do they expect us to believe that he just walked in there and shot him like that? Bobby. Oh, God. That's why I made so many enemies. <laughs> <laughs> They killed my brother because of me. No, look at me. What happened had nothing, nothing to do with you. Don't ever say that. This casket. Jackie brought it last week. Bobby's here to see you. Jackie brought this by for you. It was nice. These uh, stars remind me of Romeo and Juliet. You remember your Shakespeare, Dad? When he shall die, take him and cut him out in little stars. And he shall make the face of heaven so fine that all the world will be in love with night and pay no worship to the garish sun. I made so many mistakes. I always thought that I could do whatever I wanted as long as we were on the side of the angels. Nothing else mattered. No one can touch us. But I was wrong. I was arrogant. I'm so sorry, Dad. I'm so terribly sorry. I've spoken to Ethel, and she says that she's tried to get you to accept the solace of the church, but you won't. No, no I want to accept it, Mother. It's, it's just not there anymore. Joe Jr. Rosemary. With all I've seen, how could I bear it if it wasn't for my faith? His means may be mysterious, but his ends aren't. Pray the rosary with me. I 
believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. Mrs. Kennedy shouldn't be too long, sir. Thank you. General, I... The president meant a lot to me, sir. And I will miss him for the rest of my life. He cared for you a great deal, Abraham. Excuse me, sir. I'm glad you're here. Packing things up already. I don't know where we're going to go. I don't want you to worry about anything. I'll find you a home. You'll have enough to worry about. Jackie, I'll never be too busy for you. It's the least I can do. Make up for Jack not being here. You don't have to make up for it. I've been going through uh, everything in my head. How things might have turned out differently. That's all I've been able to think about. But I just leaned in. An inch closer. If I turned him sick as soon. Why do we have to have the top down? Dedicated your life to him, Bobby. I, you, you don't have to make it up to anybody. Least of all me. Jackie, you're my family. You're my responsibility now. Excuse me, ma'am. When are you already? didn't want to come to this house. Well, I can't seem to leave. Thank you. Jackie. Another sad day, my dear. This house will never be the same. It was so nice of you to let the children and I stay on these past two weeks. You served our country with nobility and grace. And I hope that when you're ready, you continue to serve. I know I'm just a caretaker. You are the true keeper of his memory. Thank 
like you lived in. I'm sorry, Mr. President. Linden, always. God bless you. off whenever Mrs. Kennedy's in residence. We can't do that. I, I don't want to hear about what you can't do. I want you to take care of it. I'm sorry, sir. There's just too much. Oh, damn you! She's the first lady of the United States. It's your job to protect her. I need you to help me protect her. Bobby. Don't. I'm sorry. Mr. Kennedy didn't mean that. I'll be outside, ma'am. Whatever needs to be done, Jackie, I will take care of you. There were people here. What? Where? On the property. Photographers. Jackie. Jackie, are you okay? Were they inside the house with you? No. No, the Secret Service chased them away. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll be right there. No, it's okay. I, it just spooked me a little. I, I'm not used to this. No, 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 it's no, no problem. Okay, I'll be there in 10 minutes. Okay. Okay. Photographers outside our house. Mm. Bastards. She all right? Yeah, I think she's fine. Then why are you going? She's all alone, that's all. Bobby, she has the Secret Service. I know. It's not the same. She needs family right now. Tell her you'll see her in the morning. She needs me now. So do I. Please don't. Please don't do that. See you in the morning. I'm sorry it's so late. I don't mind. Thank you for coming over. How are the children doing? 
They're much more resilient than we are. Caroline loves her new school. I have a parent's night next week. That'll be awkward. Jackie, I can go with you if you need someone there. Some trouble. Mommy, I'm so grateful for everything. It's fine. No, you have a family. You're my family. Be How's Jackie? She's fine. How are you? Great. Ethel, I know you've been hurting. Ever since Jack died, I've been feeling the same in my own heart. I've been hiding from you and the children. But I want you to know that I'm here for you. I'm here for you now. Get off your ass and do something. I, I don't think I have a choice, really. I have to carry on for him. I think I owe it to him to make an effort to ensure what he envisioned for this country really happened. landslide in American history. In the Senate race in New York, which attracted almost as much attention as the national race, Robert Kennedy, the former attorney general and brother of the late president, won over the incumbent Senator Kenneth Keating. Thank you. Senator from New York. The little runt couldn't even vote for himself because he's registered in Massachusetts. Contrary to what uh, was said during the campaign, I, I do know where the Hudson River is. Well, you and Lady Bird should be celebrating, Mr. President. Now, don't let this bother you. He rode in on my coattails. 
and it'll look like he might lose our campaign for him. Uh, I, I shall devote all of my efforts and whatever talents I possess to the state of New York. Bastard's gonna use the Senate to come gunning for me in 68. I am announcing today my candidacy for the presidency of the United States. I run because it is now unmistakably clear that we can change these disastrous, divisive policies only by changing the men who are now making them. I do not lightly dismiss the difficulties and the dangers of challenging an incumbent president, but these are not ordinary times, and this is not an ordinary election. Finally, my decision reflects no personal animosity or disrespect towards President Johnson. I shall not seek and I will not accept the nomination of my party for another term as your president. It's unbelievable. It's gonna be ours, Bobby. There's nothing in our way now. It's now clear that Senator Eugene McCarthy will defeat Senator Kennedy in the Oregon primary. Despite spending roughly $1 million a week, Kennedy was unable to appeal to the state's largely white, largely Protestant, and largely middle-class voters. This is the first electoral defeat ever suffered by a member of the Kennedy family, and it makes the upcoming California primary... You uh, turn that off, please. ...for the senator from New York. Well, I think it's clear that we uh, lost here all by ourselves. It had nothing to do with the uh, Protestants. This was our responsibility. This was our effort, and we dropped the ball. We had lousy polling information. We didn't motivate the precinct captains to get out the vote. And we can do better. We can do more. So I want uh, each of you on planes tonight to California and make uh, damn sure that we rally here, that we show some balls that we go in there and we win this thing. Because if I have anything to do with it, this is the last election that Kennedy's gonna lose. All right, now go. Go, each of you, go. We'll get it right in California. I know. I'm going back to our room. Are you coming? No, you go. I'm gonna stay here and get some work done. Nice. You know, this wouldn't have uh, happened to Jack. Bobby, Jack had you. Thanks. Henry Cabot Lodge is beating us by two touchdowns. What the hell are you doing, Bobby? You're the campaign manager. I know, Dad, and I would appreciate if you would actually let me manage it. Oh, so it's, it's my fault we're behind. No, but we're running a statewide race here, and you brought in your old cronies from Charleston. How am I supposed to work with that? Half of them think that Wilson is still president. You've got them going around the neighborhoods, handing out 20 bucks for coal. It worked when Jack ran for Congress. Well, I know, but that was right after the war. The world's a different place now, Dad. Money still talks, Bobby. If the day ever comes when I don't get my money's worth... Well, the day is here. And we need to recognize it, Dad. That's precisely the reason why we're losing. Oh, what do you suggest? I think we've got a lot of dead weight around here, and I want to get rid of it. If you don't want to tell him, I will. I'll do it. And we got the uh, Jack crisscrossing the state. He's in Springfield in the morning, Plymouth in the afternoon, back up to Northampton at night. We're killing him. We need to conserve his energy, make the schedule more efficient. It still doesn't get us more votes. I know. Let me finish. We have the best resource in the world, and we're not even using it. What's that? Us, family. We should get Mother out there. Get her telling stories about when Jack was little. People love her, Dad. They, 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 they love that. They want to know that we're a real family. Your mother's a natural campaigner. We'll have tea parties. Tea with Rose Kennedy. That's a good idea, Dad.
Scotch called to concede. He said, I could have beaten you. I could have beaten you and the old man. But that damn mother of yours. And those Kennedy tea parties. Thank you. Thank you. You made the difference. Hey, boys. Boys, come on. Come on over here. You. Uh, take a photograph of this. One day it may be worth something. Mother, it's Bobby. No, I'm fine. But I need you again. Can you pack your bags? Of course. I, I, I could tell you about all the times that he was naughty and I had to spank him with a ruler. <laughs> Well, it must have worked because Ethel tells me he's not naughty anymore. <laughs> it, 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 it's very important that you vote for him for president. He has 10 children, you know, and Ethel is pregnant again, and the White House is the only place large enough. <laughs> so it gives me great pleasure to introduce my seventh child, Robert Francis Kennedy. I'd like to thank my mother for the kind introduction. <laughs> That's what it's gotten down to in this uh, campaign when uh, some of the polls came out that we were doing so well, we, we, we took mother. <laughs> Make sure you tell them about my ideas for improving public schools. Because, because it's very important to capture children's yes, I imagination. Know. I, I know. <laughs> I'm going to tell them. Why don't you give your own speech? I, that's just it. My brother and I, that's the reason she never introduced us before, is we wouldn't go on the same platform with her. You couldn't possibly compete with that. <laughs> no, no, I'm fine. I'm just... Uh... A little lonely, I suppose. All the uh, hotel rooms start to look the same after a while. How are the kids? I miss them. That fine? They miss you too. The campaign looks like it's going great. Yeah, the uh, polling here in California is great. Um, the crowds have been unbelievable, really. I'm so glad for you. Is everything okay with you? I wanted to talk to you about something. Sure. Anything. What is it? You know, Onassis and I have been seeing each other for quite some time. Yes, I know. I know you have. And he's asked me to marry him. That uh, doesn't come as a great surprise to me. I know you don't approve of him. No, I, I don't, Jackie. I think he's a collector. He collects things, and that's what you are to him. You, you are the most desirable, beautiful thing in the world to, uh, to him. I, I just, I don't, I don't believe that in your heart you could possibly love him. I was in love with Jack. I'll never feel that way again. Why are you doing this? I have to keep my children safe. He can protect them. His island is a private world where no one can get to them. And they've been hounded by photographers and people all their lives. Don't they deserve a chance to just be children? Of course they do. I just want you to be happy. Jackie, you deserve to be happy. Thank you. you uh, delay the announcement until after the election? It could cost me five estates, you know. Of 
course. I wasn't going to say anything, and I already spoke to Ari about it. He's not going to say anything until after you're president. I admire your optimism. I love you, Jack. I love you, Bobby. I gotta go. Well, um, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. together in the last analysis and that what's been going on within the United States over the period of the last three years, the divisions, the violence, the disenchantment with our society, the divisions whether it's between blacks and whites, between the poor and the more affluent or between age groups or the war in Vietnam, is that we can start to work together. We are a great country and a selfless country and a compassionate country and I intend to make that my basis for running over the period of the next few months. So it's my, my thanks to all of you, and now it's on to Chicago, and let's win there.
The car is waiting, Mrs. Onassis. I want them to plant new roses. Don't you think that would be nice? To have new roses next year? Hey, RJ. <laughs> Your house, Mr. President. Your office. Well, I'd say to uh, interesting times and uh, to the United States of America. To my husband. To a uh, re election campaign that I don't have to manage. <laughs> <laughs> to another baby. Our Lord makes all things possible. May we work for his greater glory. Amen. To this family, if I knew its secret, I'd bottle it and sell it. I believe we do know the secret, Dad. It's you. I'll drink to that. Here, here. 